Man, got around. OG Silver back here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to tell you there's no victory and glory today, but I will tell you I'm starting to recover from my sickness. I guess I'm getting used to uh, taking care of two elderly sick people. Maybe I'm stepping up to the plate. Maybe my mind has just accepted my reality. But whatever it is, I'm not coughing as uh, bad as I was. I'm not feeling as weak as I was. So I guess I can say there's some glory, but there's no victory because my mom and her, my stepdad, he's he's in a bad way, dude. And uh, when you got to care for a person that's an invalid, man, it, it really gives you an appreciation of your mobility and your health. So even though I'm not in the best of health right now, I mean, I'm healthier than he is. So I'm very thankful. So let's just say I have an attitude of gratitude, right? So I wanted to share that with you because, guys, um, now that uh, he's here in the house and they moved in this medical bed, you know, a medical bed has the lever where you can press the button and can sit him up and it helps me to uh, change him and to clean him and uh, give him his medication and to feed him and stuff because he's an invalid, um, I'm now in the guest room. I'm in the guest room here, so I'm gonna be shooting my videos here until uh, further notice. So without further ado, guys, I wanna get into top of today's video, which is, in maximum security prison, run when bandits come for your cheeks or have your buns split open with their sausage inside. So guys, this is very important, man. I've been, uh, you know, taking care of my stepdad he's not my dad but he's my mom's husband and my mom is uh incapacitated as well she's elderly she's got arthritis she's had several surgeries she can't walk um, it's hard for her to stand up sit down get in the car out the car it's just a lot going on man but um i'm just saying i have an appreciation for the ability to be able to run and defend myself and I wanted to share this with you guys because as you look at invalids, man, it gives you an appreciation. I want to talk to you youngsters especially. Maybe you're not the tallest. Maybe you're not the most fit. Maybe you're not the strongest. You're not the most athletic. But, dude, you have the ability to work your body like a machine, turn your body into a machine and how you do that. I'm not saying every day, but whenever you get a chance, man, you should try to get in some cardio like some running. And I know a lot of doctors try to say running isn't good for you and this and that is jarring, but look at the pro, let's call them soccer players, because uh, in other countries, we call it American football, but they call, uh, they call, uh, they call soccer football. So let's look, look at the sport of soccer, um, rugby, American football, basketball, track and field, heck, even baseball. What's some other, you know what I'm trying to say, other sports where running's involved this applies when you go to maximum security prison dude and you're a soft weak dude and you don't have the og silverback skills to defend yourself i want to tell you the number one thing you can do and once i tell you guys this what i'd like you to do is to stop the video and go and watch this movie called shawshank redemption watch this movie called an innocent man watch this movie called lockdown watch this movie called lock up and what's another good movie um, that you can watch. Okay, heck, man, watch Avengement. And all these movies, you can see that when the bandits come for the soft, weak dude, hey, man, first of all, you should look, you know, pay attention to your surroundings wherever you are with maximum security prison. But let's say you, you, you skip that advice because you just says dumb fuck, right? So you're in a situation and some bandits surround you. I want to tell you the number one martial arts skill, the self-defense skill, and once I tell you this, you're going to really understand it. You're going to open your mind to look at it from a different paradigm or from a different perspective. The number one martial arts skill you can have is to run, dude. Run with all your might. And I'm going to explain to you why. So let's say, let's take Shawshank Redemption, the first one. So then they catch dude in the laundry room, and there was three of them. They surrounded him. Wherever the opening is that you came in and you were a dumbass and you didn't make sure there was somebody behind you, you would scoop the dude all day. And then you turn around, there's a dude blocking entrance, and there's two dudes on this side. It's like a triangle. What you want to do is go for the path of least resistance. You want to get your ass out of there. And once I tell you this secret, man, you're going to say, Bravo, G, you a genius, dude. In your old age, you're getting very wise. 
Hey man, you want to run full speed, man, like a nose tackle into the dude that's preventing you from getting out. And that's going to do three things. Number one, you put your head down, dude. You shrunk your shoulders up, dude, to protect your neck. And you just run full speed into his midsection, dude. What that's going to do, number one, is knock the air out of him. Number two, is going to knock him out of your way. And number three, dude, is going to open up for you to run and start screaming. Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Because it's, it's better for you to act like a biatch and be screaming while you're running, right? Oh, look at that coward, bitch-ass, soft motherfucker running. He's a bitch-ass motherfucker, right? It's better for them to think you that and to show yourself a bitch than them to be going up in you and then you're somebody's bottom boy bitch warmer. So I wanted to tell you that, man, because that's one example. There's another one, man. There was this movie called um, South Central. And so there was this one brother, man. He owed some money to the Aryans. And this other brother, they was homies. He stepped in and said, no, you ain't going to mess. You ain't going to go up in my homeboy. So the white boys was like, oh, we ain't going to go up in him. We're going to go up in you. So then they grabbed him, dude, and was taking him into this closet. And here's what I want to tell you. It's called Stop, Drop, and Run. So when somebody grabs you, man, you drop your center of gravity, you put your head forward, shunk your shoulders, and just run, dude. You plow into them. It's like you guys make it too complicated, dude. Everybody doesn't have my proficiency, man, and all the different ways to punch and strike. I practice every, well, I don't practice. Now I was just talking to my girlfriend, Yoni. I haven't worked out, man, I don't know, for about a good six weeks, bro, however long I've been here, just because... I'm a full-time caregiver, and if you guys don't know what a full-time caregiver is, then God bless you, because when you do it, it's an honorable thing to do, but your life is over, man. So I'm just saying, before I came here to, to help my mom and take care of her and her now her husband, I used to practice, man, blocks and moves and everything, and then practice this, because practice makes perfect, dude. You have this thing called muscle memory and muscle coordination. So let's say you don't have all that. The one thing I'm going to share with you in this video is stop, drop, roll up your shoulders, and run forward like a torpedo. Whatever you run into, dude, is going to be getting out of your way. And then you just start screaming, somebody help me! Somebody help me! So hopefully you guys got the point of the video. I want to keep this video short because I want to give you the information. I don't want to go off topic. I don't want to be ranting and raving like you guys say that I gave you the information. So the closing point, in maximum security prison, <coughs> run when bandits come for your cheeks. Or have your buns split open with their sausage inside you. So if you like the realness and the rawness and you like the shorter video content, man, you know, show me some support. Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment. Rock with it. Hey, OG, we like the shorter videos. Thanks for not ranting and raving. Thanks for staying on topics. You know what I'm saying? And then most importantly, man, if you're new to the channel, man, subscribe to the channel because I see that 25% of you guys are not uh, subscribe to the channel. So I can say this to you guys, even if you're a troll. Man, I give nothing but positivity here on my um, channel. Yes, maybe I talk about cheek busting and you. some of you guys don't understand. Prison, maximum security prison is nothing but cheek busters and liars and perverts. That's all it is. There's no honorable people up in there, dude. None. How do I know? Because once you did then 10, 15, 20 years, it's like the humanity seeps out of you and you just become either a sodomite dude a pervert a demonic entity dude or a savage barbarian or heck man you become like less than human it's just the way it is if you don't understand this philosophy look up this word man you are who you associate with so if all you associate with is murderers rapists cannibals serial killers dude muggers and jackers and con men what does that make you so, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification all bell because I don't know when I'm going to be able to uh, shoot these videos because right now the um, the guys are here working on the garage door and there's a nurse here to administer the medication. It comes once a week, so I got a breather. So I wanted to shoot this video. So until next time, hold yourself back. Out. Oh.